Hi guys, I'm Simitoski and welcome back to God Dang 60 Seconds. In the last episode we died like some terrible, terrible people. But it's okay, we're going back, we're going to the apocalypse, and this time we're gonna survive. God dang it. We're gonna do it. We're not gonna freaking kill over like last time. And we'll keep breaking the radio. I need food this time for sure. Okay, so there's water. Timmy's in there. Uh da -da 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 -da. there's a lot of stuff in here. There's an axe in the wall, lots of food. I'm taking all the supplies first. If I don't get all you kids, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is, okay? Take that, take that, and take that to the shelter! Da -da 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 -da. Right here. All right, take that, and then take my wife. Okay, wife, get in the shelter! All right, take some more soup, and take my very large daughter. Here we go, girl, get to the shelter! All right, Timmy's way down here, but we need to get some water on the way, and then, ooh, there's a lot of water right there on the floor. Timmy, come on, hop in here, boy, let's go. To the shelter, da 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 Get in there, boy. Okay, let's go get some of the stuff on the ground. Bleep, 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 bleep. All this is mine, all this is mine, all this is mine. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, I could take this, and then the map, and then uh, the briefcase, I guess, and crap! Not enough room. Oh, oh god. Okay, I don't have enough time. <sighs> Alright. We did it. Hop in there, man! <laughs> oh my gosh. I love her, though. I love her poor, pudgy self. <laughs> Day one. Here we go. We got lots of soup. Not a lot of water. <laughs> We don't have any, oh, we do have some ammo. So, you know, we got an ax. Okay, so, let's begin our adventure. All was made to the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves are already stocked. We can't really say we are caught putting the supplies down here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. Some bullets. The shelves are full of cans. We'll We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, <laughs> we'll even talk to cans, some of us already do. Plenty of water means you don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure it's a good amount of supplies. All right, well then, day one. We're just gonna hang out. It's hardly, uh, hard been down here, living here, we need to make the best, or else we may find ourselves in even more trouble. I didn't find a radio though, that sucks. Okay, I wonder how good we'll do. You know, just, I don't know. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation here is far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope help comes soon. And everyone's fine. Alright, well. Let's send someone out. I heard a uh, more curious visitor. One of them was making sounds. Oh yeah, hey, I got a map, guys. It's okay. We can help you find the, uh... The goblet or whatever we're trying to do. How they feel about it? Are they happy? Oh good, they gave us them. They seem friendly enough, so we let them take a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. All right. Some water would be nice, but we got some stuff. Ted's really thirsty. This is only the third day, guys. Suck it up. Timmy, get out there and uh, take the axe with you. Good luck, buddy. Maybe I should give him some water before he left, you know? He'll be okay. Uh, Tim went to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll do if he doesn't come back. Equipment. Dolores did not survive with the water any longer. Yep. Okay. Everybody, take 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 a sip. Take a sip of water. All right. We thought it'd be a great idea to have some role playing fun. Create our shelter in the group. We called in it the Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into the. F into a fight over it and decided maybe it should be best to play something simpler. Hmm. Day five. All right, good job, guys. We're still alive. Uh, playing solid game be a good idea. The sound's too annoying, but quickly stop. The it's impressive how well Mary Jane is. She looks fine. Uh, really calm. Uh, no new problems troubling Ted. Sweet. Everything seems okay. Oh dear, we just remember we planned on taking a trip south for two months. If it's still there, are we We are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. Okay, day six. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, playing far is good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in the plan for water rationing. She's fine, doesn't need anything uh, quite well. No problems to have this fine morning. Okay, well, everybody have something to eat anyway, just because you haven't had anything to eat in a while. Uh, problem is simple, if we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here. It doesn't seem like anything better in the next couple of days. Uh, how about we do something to fix it? Use the bullets, I guess? Okay. Day seven. Uh, dirty or not, this it's the smell of the biggest issues here. How do we deal with that? Well, I got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Okay. Wow. Um, I guess that helped. Alright, you guys are gonna be okay for another day. Confined space is not a very friendly environment. We'll quickly run into an argument over trivial things. This, uh, keeps going on. We might find ourselves in a nasty place. Oh, God. They ate. I don't think Timmy's coming back. Uh, there's nothing better than quiet after the storm or any other round. Mary James keeps fainting. We really need to find her some water. Okie dokie. Let's get you guys a little sip a sip of Walter. How time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about turning the radio station and I can't because I don't have a radio. God dang it. Day nine. Timmy has not returned. He's dead. <laughs> he's he's got to be dead. Uh, Ignorance is blessed another day without any clue what's going on. There's anything bothering you? Nothing to report. Uh, Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world's gone to a crappy place. Okay. Be safe down here. It's much better than being pulverized out there. Doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we can take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful than the bombings. Uh. Oh, Timmy's back. Uh, he looks... you look a little rough, buddy. A little rough around the edges. Still as bare as safe down here, he ended up dead. Uh, we were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We came across a local church near the road. Most of it was destroyed, but the priest quarters have survived the blast. A group of people survived. They started a cult. They believe that everything has been happening is a game tailored for someone's amusement. How crazy is that? Those crazy guys. One of the beds in the surviving church quarters is filled with quite a few treasures, namely a flashlight and a collection of books about evolution. We took the flashlight. Uh, we returned from our expedition, but our axe didn't make it. Mary Jane says she's fine, doesn't eat anything. Timmy should eat. He feels sick. He's really tired. Dolores is fine as well as much as anyone. Okay. Timmy, have some food. And uh, you're not hurt, but I can't heal you either. Expect to get a phone call so soon. Go out there and answer the phone, girl. Shoot. All right. What we got going on? When we answer the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp from relief. Hope they get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter and the service. Mary Jane is safe. <laughs> Everyone would like... Uh, well, Dolores says something to drink sometimes. Timmy would like something to eat. Go ahead, Timmy. Yeah, I think it's about time to give you guys some water, I think. Uh, okay. Everyone, as long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. Yeah, we don't have a radio, so... F you, fly! Day 12. We're already low on water. We gotta... Alright. He's very hungry. I've been feeding Timmy so much. If there's something we need to do, it's use the radio. Yeah. Very impressed. She's looking fine today. Uh, today, we're left for comfort Dolores. Ted, worry about things. Okay. There you go, god dang Timmy. Here, have some soup. You too, since you're about to go out. You're going out. And you can take... I mean, I guess you can take the lock with you? Take a lock with you. Lock the door. Don't lock us in. Oh god, that could be terrible if you don't come back. Alright. Uh, Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she comes back soon. Timmy is very hungry, and Timmy's in very bad shape. Uh, Ted's stomach's rumbling. You'd like to eat something as well. Okay, well, we got plenty of soup, so let's just eat that soup, I guess. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but we opened and found a suitcase on the doorstep. There's only one around it. It's a sign, but it sure looks as meant for us. Yeah, check what's inside. Why not? What could it be? Like a bomb? <laughs> Day 14. Uh, 
it had water in it? We got more water, I think, or less water. Yeah, there's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase, but it looks absolutely harmless and purified. We hope to get, meet this generous stranger one day and thank him personally for keeping our family well hydrated. Timmy needs an extra blanket. He's shivering all the time. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Ted should drink something soon. All right, Timmy. Suck it up. Uh, uh, green puddle come from? Uh, we can't really do anything about the green puddle. We're just gonna have to deal with it and all get sick and maybe die. Day 15. We couldn't figure out, so we just assumed there was a regular pipe. Wait, seem the assumed that what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decide to ignore it. We're feeling a bit funny today. Probably no connection to the pipe. None whatsoever. Tim looks very pale. That's not good. Life is hard for us right now, but Dolores is a good mood. And, oh, Ted, there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Just some more stabbing of the people. Uh, suck it up, everybody. Dolores has not been very talkative lately. You should chat with her and find out what's wrong. Sure, let's see what's wrong, Dolores. Tell me all about it, sweetie. Day 16. Hmm, I grew a beard. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Some more for Timmy would be nice. Dolores is quite calm. There's not much going on with Ted. All right, have some water, little Timmy. Ugh, excuse me. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last too long. Oh man, I'm getting, we've been getting into so many fights this round. Day 17. Still no word from our daughter. Barely sleep after arguing. Let's just hope it won't happen again. The very pale is not good. Ted has a drink. Did I just give you guys something to drink? Whatever. I haven't really been keeping up with the days anymore, so hopefully everything's okay. Uh, if there's one sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, is quite persistent. They've been at it for the past five minutes. Okay, fine. Open it up. What's out there? Day 18. Hey, more water. Somehow. As a group of travelers wearing gas masks carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Timmy needs an extra blanket. She's doing quite well. No problems with Ted. Sweet. Let's just keep on keeping on. And we don't have a radio, so F it. Uh oh! She's back. And everybody's god dang sick all the time. What is that? Uh, <laughs> radio, regular basis, whatever. Nothing mess happier than when Mary Jane returned and she brought the lock back. Thanks. Uh. More cautious next time we were followed by wastelanders, I guess. Before leaving our neighborhood, our exhibition knows a group of scavengers. We didn't know them. We didn't know them yet. They didn't have any reservations about scavenging the area. Clear. We decided to steal one of the numerous packs they had while they weren't looking. We found the glass hitting. Wait. We found some glass hitting glass while running with a backpack. The sound of glass hitting glass. I mean one thing. Water. Bam. The outer pocket of the backpack contained a deck of cards, better than nothing. Bam! Shortly after we ventured into the wasteland, we found an open safe, half buried and irradiated the ground. It was a bit glowy, but it contained a supply of water. We decided to secure both the box and the padlock, collect bottles, or away back to the shelter. More water! Mary Jane is not doing good. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Dolores, we'll have something to eat. Ted is hungry. Alright, so. Hungry, hungry, everything water, right? Alright, prepare for the next adventure. One minute it was all fine, the next we're at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves. We're going to survive. Let's just sleep on it. All this family does is argue. This is a broken home. Day 20. Oh, Jesus Christ. Timmy's going crazy. Look at him. Everybody's getting better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We stopped arguing, but for how long? Mary Jane's quite hungry. Uh, Timmy has rested, so he needs something to eat. Water, okay. Adults need water, kids need to eat. Please. Eat, eat. Some of us are keener and going outside. All right, wife, go out there and take the map so you can find your way back, please. Day 21. We need to find a radio. 
Uh, Mary Jane's dog gives you a little food. Timmy's looking very pale. Oh, wait, the service. Let's hope she makes it back. Yes. Mary Jane. You're going to have to tough it out, Mary Jane. I'm sorry. We're about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that. We heard someone knocking on our door. It seems like a traitor. He's very interested in ammunition. How about it? We don't have ammunition, but we have this game. <laughs> oh, do we have fun? Everyone's laughing. We offered checkers instead of ammunition. The visitor was quite confused and tried to explain what ammunition was, is. We present, pretend to understand nothing. It was very amusing. Uh, un until he left with our checkerboard. Asshole. <laughs> Mary Jane's quite hungry. She needs water also. Some water for Timmy. And, yeah. Kids need water. And she also needs food. Is that what that said? Whatever. We'll give it to her. What is the tricking sound? The wall wet. Flooded. I don't have life preservers or a boat. Oh, God. Too much water. Use the playing cards on it. Oh, we saved the playing cards, I guess. Day 23. We're all about survival and poker games, so it wasn't too surprising we went after our lucky set of cards first. Not a single card got wet, but plenty of other supplies were submerged. After a while, the water level dropped, but it damaged... But the damage it did was quite extensive. We have to deal with that. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in a coffin-sized shelter? Despite the dire circumstances, oh, Timmy's okay. Ted wishes for a few drops of water. Tough titties. Joyful sea of grief. Timmy's birthday today. Sorry, Timmy, you're not getting anything for your birthday, buddy. We don't have anything to give you because oh, he left. He said, "F it, he's gone." Timmy said, "Timmy was very sick, and there was nothing we could have done to make it better." He understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents. He left and never came back. Time to grow up, Timmy. This ain't Kansas anymore, and sand doesn't exist. Wow. <laughs> Uh, it's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Ted looks like he got some foot in, one foot in the grave. He needs a drink. Okay, Ted, have a drink. Timmy's gone. God dang it, Timmy. Our supplies are scarce. Our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folk from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies. They're old anyway. We need them more, right? Right! Let's get them! Let's take the supplies from the old people. There's blood on the wall. Jesus Christ. Did we lose some water? Ooh, more soup. We are now richer in supplies, but for some reason we don't feel very good about it. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. Mary Jane needs water, and Ted is pretty fatigued. You need food? Is that what he needs? Uh, can't use the radio still. My wife still hasn't come back either. So, oh, there she is. Maybe. Ooh, you look a little hungry, girl. How are you, baby? How are you? There's one thing we need is radio, right? Uh, shh. Might sound paranoid, but I think someone followed us. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. Despite his rather calm demeanor, Timmy got into a few fights before the apocalypse. His last victory was beating a kid named Ethan with a stick. Ethan's parents were furious and invited us over to discuss Timmy's behavior. But before we could schedule a meeting, the world went to hell. During our trip, we found their house and knocked on the door, but nobody answered. We decided to go and investigate. There were These people were obsessed with tomato soup. We saw many cans in the ruined kitchen. Most of them were damaged. All tomato goodness has leaked out, but some survived. Plus two soup. Yes. Behind the remains of the kitchen the counter, we found some bottled water. It's not our favorite brand, but it'll have to do. Brands of water? Okay. Their living room was quite spacious and nicely decorated. There's not much left, but we managed to have a checkerboard. Yay, we got our checkerboard back. Mary Jane's pretty fatigued. Dolores would really love something to eat, and she's tired. Ted's fine. Okay, so have some food then, m'lady. You too, I guess. Okay, well, let's, uh, hang on, let's go back, actually. Let's stock up old Ted here before he goes out in the wilderness. Yeah. Today at breakfast we stared, we startled when the map slipped off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they're all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist, so we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map... Oh, Boy Scouts. We were not sure or why the map just decided to slide off the wall, but we're lucky that it happened inside the dusty safe. We found some supplies! Some Boy Scout manual. 
Cool. Mary Jane's still rather sick. Dolores is not eating for a while. Ted's not complaining, at least not very much. There you go. Um, I guess I'm supposed to feed you too? I don't know, to make you feel better? Cool. Mary Jane's still rather sick. Dolores is not eating for a while. Ted's not complaining, at least not very much. There you go. Um, I guess I'm supposed to feed you too? I don't know, to make you feel better? Go ahead, buddy, and... Uh, Take the Boy Scout manual with you. Maybe it'll help you. Day 28. Just the ladies. Mary Jane's very thirsty. Dolores loves something to eat and needs some water. Okay, so you need both and you need water. Okie dokie. We decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. The first one was picking the game we we're going to play. That took most of the day and we still haven't made up our minds. <laughs> okay. At least we're not arguing anymore. Okay, let's see. We played I Spy. It was fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored with letter W. Mary Jane's feeling safe. Who wasn't in the coffin size? Been fine for Dolores thus far. Okay, you guys are good? Good. Day 29. A raider camp to our on our street has been... Especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. We won't stand for that. Somebody to show them innocent survivors, wasteless artists, miserable victims, and yeah, that's right. I got a gun. We got a gun. Ooh, somebody got shot. What else though? We're okay. We're good. Still got my bloody handprint on the wall. Ooh, we got a radio. We've performed a very tactical maneuver and sneaked towards the camp in broad daylight without any cover. It soon turned out that no such maneuver was needed. When we arrived, the bands were fighting a group of giant mutated spiders and nobody was guarding the supplies. We picked up whatever we could and hurried back to the shelter before the raiders noticed anything. We are so brave. Mary Jane's condition is getting better. Today, we got a radio. Dolores, quite calm. Well, at least we have a radio, I guess. It's not easy to be calm in the circumstances. Hopefully, we will keep our peace, or else we might need to act like wolves, survival of the fittest, and all. Hmm. Nice. Day 31. Oh, God. She's gonna die. Look at her. Oh, man. Being stuck in a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and wait for the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Mary Jane has rested. Dolores has a drink sometime. So you guys need some drink? Okay. Very difficult to prepare for the unforeseen. Well, they're unforeseen by definition, so that makes a lot of sense. We can't say we're prepared for what happened. What happened? Daddy! Oh, God. You look like trash. Where's the Boy Scout manual at, Dad? All right. Uh, what we make today uh, be our tomorrow. Let's make it right. Ted is safely returned from his voyage to the service. We believe our expedition to the wasteland must be followed by a stranger again. Our poor, poor house is completely destroyed by our shelter. Really sad and devastating. Where will we live after we get out of this mess? Surely fate not cruel enough to keep pushing us to Do Dolores' sister in Toronto. The only recognizable furniture in the kids' room were the burned desk and Mary Jane's bed. There were a hidden stash under the bed. It was full of soup cans. <laughs> Mary Jane's hiding them soup cans. Our kitchen was a pile of rubble. It took us a week to find those lovely chairs that matched the floor tiles. Now they're nowhere to be found. Only a few bottles of water remained scattered in the dirt. Plus two. Uh, the muddy swamp, which used to be our toilet, <laughs> is now home to something remotely resembled a mutated turtle. After exchanging a few pleasantries, it gave us anti-bug spray and wished us the best of luck. The scout handbook was really useful. Too bad we lost it during the expedition. Uh, if we don't cure Mary Jane soon, who knows what will happen. Dolores is okay, Ted's hungry and sick and really tired. Bam, have some food, sir. Ooh, we'll hook you up too, just so you can make it out there. He's gone. As long as we have food and water, let's use the radio. Ooh, ooh. Dang it! She's gone! Mary Jane! Come back, Mary Jane! 
When Mary Jane's sickness got worse and we weren't able to provide her with medicine, she decided it's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back and she never liked our town to begin with. We made contact! The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do is to wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way and we just need to wait for it. Further instructions for radio in working order. Dolores and Ted would like something to eat. Well, now they don't have any kids to worry about. I guess we'll just god dang not worry about it. Great. All of the freaky kids are gone. We let our kids die. <laughs> uh, water is all Dolores wants. His stomach's rumbling and we need water for you too. So both for you and some water for you. I wish I could use... I don't have any... I can't send anybody out still. Uh, hear that? Noise coming from below. Right time to check the manhole corner. Well, last time it was like a giant or something. Let's put the flashlight on it. Or an alligator, that's what it was. Oh, now he's hurt. What the hell? It was an alligator or a crocodile. We don't know. Today's been fine. Ted was hurt. God dang it, Ted. Nope, nobody wants to go outside. Oh, Ted. Oh, Ted, I'm so sorry, Ted. Dolores is calm. Can we do anything about Ted's injuries? No, we can't. I would love to send someone outside. Yep. Our situation's gotten worse. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from local school rescued a bunch of kids and the bomb fell. We know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter as part of the community we help stock it for an emergency. So technically they're ours, right? Should we reclaim them? Yes, we should. Reclaim the crap out of them and hope we get a med pack. Oh God, Ted's going crazy. Ted! Ted! He's thirsty, sick, hurt, crazy, tired, fatigued. She's just thirsty and fatigued. Nine cans and a lot of water. Ooh, a lot of water. We had to do this for the family. It had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk about something else? Soup, perhaps. Uh, there's one thing we need is water. Dolores is rested. Ted doesn't drink anything. He won't last long. Ted's going crazy. I'm sorry, Ted. I'm really sorry. Send her outside. Take the gun. Go, Dolores. I believe in you. I believe in you, girl. Don't get sick, please. Oh, Ted. I'm... Oh, Ted. Yep. Good luck out there, my lady. Knock on the door. A uh, man came from the doorstep offering a highly profitable game of cards. We weren't convinced. Is a bet of two soup cans card game reasonable choice or situation? Yes. We have two soup. Two cans of soup. Day 39. Ted's okay. Still, barely. Ah, oh, damn, that man must have cheated. We lost before we could argue about it. The man, Ted's stomach is rumbling. There you go, Ted. Uh, spiders seem to be operating, uh, spiders seem to be operating under this assumption that they have all the same rights in the shelters we do. They're everywhere. Alright, hit that bug spray on them then. Ho hopefully we're ventilated enough to where you don't die. Okay. Ooh, got a can of soup. Uh, when it's us or them, there shouldn't be any reservations when it comes to choosing your arsenal. We knew those spiders stood no chance against well-aimed bug-killing spray, so we used it. When it was over, the few remaining spiders fled. We started cleaning up and claimed an unexpected prize of a soup can that we didn't notice before. It was under the shadows, under a few layers of dead spiders. All right, Ted, have a drink, I guess. Don't die. Uh, how about all we... Wait, how... About that lake we've been going to for the past few years. It'd be good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a little ride, even if the whole place turned into Adamville. Yes. Damn it. Damn it, Ted! Damn it! As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Ted's wounds were too serious. They became infected and took Ted's life. We didn't make it. Uh, where did the wife go? Where did where did she go? What happened to her? Dolores was captured and Ted died all on the same day. God. 
43. Crap! We perished. Again. God dang it. Ted is such a piece of trash, man. He's such a piece of trash. Uh, Ted, why? Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of freaking 60 seconds. We died again. <laughs> We're going to make it one day. But, um, thank you very much for watching. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll see you next time. Leave a like, please. It helps me out. Sort of. And <laughs> until next time, guys, stay dozy, my friends.